Well, hello my soccer universe. I was about to do a completely different video, but then some big news broke in Belgium and I wanted to do kind of a COVID Corona update on how we could deal with the leaks anyway. Um, first things first, I did not do the calculations I did uh, for league uh, yet. First reason being, I did not have the time and most main reason. And the second one, uh, the more I do them, the less I see the things of, you know, splitting up the leagues and taking games that have been already played into account, kind of, to build the leagues and then have uh, them finish that way. I find it less and less appealing because it creates such unbalanced tables that honestly, I don't think this is a valid solution. But I will look at some valid solutions uh, today, but they will be brutal solutions. So let's dig in. Yeah, uh, trying to catch up. <laughs> the day was a little bit grating today. My girls were a little bit grating today. I spent a lot of time with them, but they are such rivals at the moment. <laughs> at least today, they were uh, what the one gets, the other one needs to get to, blah, 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 blah. It was a mess. So I'm very happy of doing this video. So I'm very, as I said, I'm wearing my Belgian jersey. And the big news out of Belgium uh, is that the Belgian league said, okay, we're done. Club Rouge are the champions. And if you look at the standings, Club Rouge is way ahead of anyone. Uh, that's fine. They had one round missing in the um, first go around before they split up in their Champions League playoffs and so on. And they said, yeah, we can well decide the league that way. Um, the only thing that's yet to be decided is who will get the Europa League spots because they said, okay, before Champions League, Ghent is also relatively safe up there. We give them the second Champions League spot. And then I think uh, Antwerp is playing in the cup final. It's only another cup finalist would get the fixed spot in the group stage of the Europa League. And there it has to be still be decided, will this be played or are we going by the table, which is honestly the option that I would prefer. Also, relegation is not quite decided yet in Belgium, but they came up with an idea of, you know, we have a 16-team league, we could add two teams. And to be honest, that might not be the worst solution. And um, that kind of made me think, uh, I find it more and more unrealistic that we will have a good way of finishing the leagues. Uh, just being realistic. And I think my stance is still that you have to think about the next season more than any than the current season in, in a way. And uh, there was a big UEFA meeting yesterday, yeah, no internationals uh, as of now, not in the playoffs. Makes sense because you don't want to have teams traveling around like crazy. I mean, think, and I repeat my point, don't worry about finishing the Champions League. Don't worry about finishing the Europa League. It may not be worth it because you have to travel, send team teams around. It's not worth it. What I potentially could consider is what they have, and only for the Champions League, not, not for leagues, is the thing they have been um, suggesting for the Premier League to kind of uh, put all the teams somewhere in the Midlands and have them, you know, almost like a World Cup or Euro Tour tournament uh, in a isolated area for two months. Yeah, great, great year with young uh, men that will not see their families because they have been quarantined or whatever it's just not gonna fly and then you know have them play there they are it would be uh, great for ratings because you have a match every day and i can see that this for tv this is great um but i don't find it a well a valuable solution you cannot play it uh 10 rounds or whatever it is that way uh, it's just not realistic but i think for the champions league I could imagine that. Get the, you know, we have uh, eight teams from the qualifiers. I think we have uh, four uh, round of 16, so you would have 12 teams. You can get them together and have them play in one area, but that also has to be take, taken into account that, you know, you kind of have to finish the leagues as well. So, 
maybe this might be a solution to go for the FIFA Champions League, but I think leagues go first and leagues are easier to do because they stay within the country. And I think then, uh, unless it's a quarantined area and you could do it like your, your Ukraine where you have Shakhtar playing in Lviv because uh, they cannot play in their states and because of the war, which is to me still staggering that they cannot do that. But you know, you can have, um, well, I, I think I'm, yeah, they're playing Lviv. I have to think, of, uh, have to see, but you know, they are playing at a, a, a different stadium. So, for instance, in Austria, the whole region of the Tyrol is um, quarantined, which will, would mean that uh, Wattenstior and Wacker Innsbruck could not play in Innsbruck. You would have to have them play in a close by area, which is not great, but I think within a league you could work that uh, within a country. Um, but yeah, I also find it more and more unlikely that the leagues, you'll be able to finish them. I think mini leagues would be a nice way to go. But as I said, it's also not all that easy. And I think the way things are developing, especially if I look at Spain, and I'm afraid also Great Britain, uh, France and, 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 and so on, it's just not realistic. Uh, at least from my current point, from from the current point of view, and you're not even taking into account that there might be a second wave coming. And if you have a lot of travel, it's just not gonna work. I think soccer has to take a break. They, it really has to take a break. And actually, I think for the players, it's not that bad. Uh, especially the ones like Messi or whoever who play constantly. This is time, get fit, get healthy. You get an entire summer and then start in August uh, or September with the create new season in the best fitness of your life. It actually, soccer might come back much better. But yeah, what shall I do first? Let's do that, uh, how we could finish the if we really had to end it now, like Belgium does it. I mean, uh, I say that first, Austria, I think is the easiest decisions of all, but they don't want to do it, uh, or still say it yet, that you say, okay, uh, take the current standings because everyone played everyone once, and that's your final table, uh, which would mean that Lusk would get the second championship <laughs> ever, which is a nice byproduct for this Lusk fan here. Uh, Surely I would like to win it a different way, but at the moment I'm so starved for titles. I have not seen my team win a title, except a second league, doesn't really count in my book, that I will take this with a heartbeat, you know, any title is a title. So, but that would be easy. You don't need to play this playoff round uh, like for Belgium. I think similar thing could be said for Greece, although their power would not win, but okay, yeah. Olympiakos probably was the better team in that league as well. Um, so I think those are easy, but let's look at some other leagues of how things might go. And I want to start again, as I usually do in my uh, look, look arounds in Spain, and then go ahead. I think if we look Spain, and I'm here taking, actually we can take some statistics, we could take the current standings, but I think it's better to project a little bit forward, you know, what would be the chances of finishing, and I'm taking what 538 is using because I really like the model. It's not perfect, but it's pretty decent. And if you see Barcelona and Real Madrid are for, for sure in the Champions League, uh, and Barcelona is giving a bigger chance of winning La Liga, so yeah, I think it is relatively easy to say that Barcelona and Real Madrid will play next year in the Champions League. I would even give it to Sevilla, and then maybe you could have a playoff between Atletico Madrid and Getafe for the fourth spot, just kind of ahead of the season. You know, make this a little bit uh, more uh, more interesting because you know those leagues anyway um, they start the qualification process yeah okay Europa League is a little bit sooner but you know even if we say get, um, get tough uh, they would have a fixed spot in the Europa League so I think you could do this even um, at, uh, just before the season is where you usually the Super Cup is played uh, so this is how I would decide the European spots and then uh, if we go further down, I mean, yes, it is a little bit tighter there, but I would say Real Sociedad, Valencia, Getafe, those would be the next three teams and uh, stop it there. Uh, those are your Europa, Europa League teams and we have seven teams picked relatively easy. Now, as for relegation, that's a little bit tricky. Um, it's a 20 team league, so you potentially could stock it up to 22. Let's say take the top two teams from uh, the Segunda up. 
uh, that would be one option. Um, we'll look at the second in just a second. The other one is, I think here the relegation spots are relatively clear. It's Leganes, Mallorca, Espanol, but I would not say directly go down. Make a playoff, take the first three from Segunda, which we have here. Um, it's pretty clear that Cadiz, Cadiz and Zaragoza are high up, and I think Almeria is clearly ahead of Huesca as well. I mean, have at least uh, an advantage in the model at the moment, although, you know, there could be some, could be contentious. I mean, uh, but let's see, Cadiz, uh, Zaragoza and Almeria, and you would have uh, Cadiz play Espanol, then uh, Mallorca against Zaragoza, and Leganes against Almeria. Or you could say just do the bottom to Mallorca and Espanol uh, the way it stands. You know, find a way and uh, make a playoff again ahead, ahead, ahead of the season. And in order to lessen the financial burden, I actually would say that those uh, two teams that make the playoff, that whatever they earn, this comes into a common trust over or, or, or whatever, and the, the money is split down the middle. You could also split it with the percentages somehow that we have here. I think this would be workable. So you have still a little bit of sporting component in there, but it's quickly done and it's all with, or as I said, take Cadiz and, and Zaragoza here and move them one up and make a 22 league, which is a little bit of a bear. Same goes for the Premier League. I think for the Premier League, it's also relatively easy to decide on the Champions League spots. Uh, here it's pretty clear with Manchester City not getting in uh, and we need to get this uh, confirmed by Cass, but you know, Liverpool title, Man, uh, Man City is out, and then Leicester, Chelsea, Man United. That's all of the Champions League teams. And the next three, Wolves, Sheffield and Spurs, go into the Europa, Europa League, and that's that. And if I look for relegation, again, take the top two, or make a playoff as I have said it, although uh, Norwich seems so certain to go down, that you might want to do something. So if you look here, Leeds United and West Brom seem like the, to be uh, locks to get promoted. So let's say Leeds, Norwich, Aston Villa, West Brom uh, is your relegation. Then Bournemouth, yeah, I have a little bit harder time with the, with the remaining team. It's Brenton, Fulham, uh, Forest. Yeah. From the model, I think Brentford is probably uh, the, cl the clearest choice there. But you know, something along the lines, you, you get my idea. In Germany, actually, it's uh, easier because we have an 18 team league. And I think for one season, going to 20 is a feasible thing. Again, Champions League spots, the first three, uh, Bayern, Leipzig, Dortmund, that's pretty clear. And then Leverkusen, Gladbach, do it the same way as I said. Uh, make a playoff, one goes in Champions League, one goes into Europa, Europa League. You can actually do this somehow, <laughs> ask UEFA about that. And then the money that they make together will be put in a pot and then split down the middle. I would even uh, kind of unite the two fan bases because you would make money for each other. So I think that would be an idea. And Paderborn is clearly down, Bremen does, doesn't look good, and Düsseldorf doesn't look good. And if I look here at the promoted teams, it's Bielefeld, who looks really strong, Stuttgart also not that bad, and Hamburg. Well, there you go. Let Bielefeld play Paderborn, Stuttgart against Bremen, and Düsseldorf against HSV. Hamburg. So, easy. I would say. I know. People need to come together. Italy, the first four spots are so easy, it's not even funny. And then you can find something within the league to find a champion. Or actually, that, that's something we have not discussed with, with the Alex, because in England it's pretty clear. And Barcelona uh, and Real Madrid, yes, he can make a two-legged playoff or whatever. Or you say head-to-head. -head. They played already, so on that base, uh, give it to Real Madrid. But here in Italy, um, we have four teams that are in prime position to make it to the Champions League. I think no one in Italy would argue that Juve, Lazio, Inter, Atalanta would deserve it. Now, when it comes to the Championship, um, I think might be a little bit harder, harder to argue, especially for Inter, 
but if I look at Inter's schedule, uh, which is very, they play all the big teams late, later on, especially Juve and Atalanta. I think you make a two-leg playoff became between Juve and Lazio ahead of the season. Kind of instead of the Super Cup, do that. And I know the Super Cup is played some in January in Saudi Arabia. You can do it that, that, that if you need to have, have a champion. Really, rely on this quick thing. Uh, your Europa League spots, uh, similar situation. Roma, Napoli, Milan. Uh, relatively easy, gives you the best chance to uh, make those for uh, the Europa League. And then for re relegation, I think it's also pretty clear, Lecce, Spal and Brescia. And when we look now going up, Benevento is almost certainty to uh, be promoted. This is one where I would actually say let Benevento go up and we also know that Brescia is almost a certainty to go down. I know the president of Brescia said today we should void the season. Of course, it's the same thing as with West West and that's stupid. Uh, here I would even say either make Brescia play Benevento or just say Brescia down Benevento up. Just the percentages. Um, and then Crotone. Oh, this, this is interesting. Crotone, Spal. Uh, and Frosinone, yeah. Let's say Frosinone. Frosinone, Lecce. There you go. A lot of subtle teams in there. I actually like that. Uh, in France, we have three Champions League spots, I think two fixed spots, which is PSG and Marseille, easy. Uh, Lille goes into the playoffs and then uh, for Europa League, Rennes, Lyon, Monaco. Yeah, I think you can do it that easily and again um, with the rail relegation again. From 20 to 22, that's a lot. That's, def that's definitely a lot. Maybe for one season you can, can, can do it, but I guess you have to balance this out somehow. Um, we have to see. Uh, here I would say Lorient loss. Yeah, it's a little bit harder for us, but Lorient loss. Since uh, France anyway has a, a regation promotion playoff, I would say Amiens and Toulouse play, uh, play the playoff and let him alone at just say Lorient loss. Uh, in Russia, it's also relatively straightforward. I, I would say we have the two Champions League spots with uh, Zenit and Krasnodar. Zenit gets the championship and then uh, Lokomotiv, Rostov and CSKA can play for the Europa League in the Netherlands. Yeah, they need a player for the championship, but uh, those are the two that go for the Champions League. The rest, next three spots, just take those predicted standings. I mean, Feyenoord and PSV will get in there. And then maybe you can give it to Willem de Bay if you really need to find something. So this is just my suggestion. One thing that I actually see slowly going away, and yeah, I'm in a country where the cup competition does not have much value. But I think if you would increase the leagues, you need to make concessions with uh, cup competitions somehow. Or your nukes, you know, in I know what. Because I, I, I don't understand. France got rid of the League Cup. I think it would be a perfect uh, solution for England to let go of the League Cup. To me personally, I know how, how it can come about um, historically, but I don't see really a reason to have this League Cup. I, I gotta be honest, it, it seems like a pointless comp, in many ways, a pointless competition. Especially if you have the old FA Cup, which has all the, the history. But you know, uh, in Spain, you know, you, do you need two legged ties? I mean, they got rid of it, but do you need a two legged semi final? Same thing in Italy. Make those a little bit shorter. I think in Austria, the cup competition, yes, lot less teams, uh, is kind of short and sweet, but is, I think, on the verge of dying out uh, to, to be honest. In Germany, they, I think, also may make what you just would have to say, okay. Your European teams, maybe you don't enter the cup competition until very, very, very late. Just have it that way. Those are my words. Uh, some positive news that I heard is, um, you know, the war. I think probably in the start with war, but it, uh, Barcelona players are taking a seventy percent pay cut, but um, use it to help employees from the club uh, to get their full sales, uh, sales salary. They clearly won the PR war against the, pre uh, the president, which... <sighs> Barcelona is now, is at the moment a hornet's nest. I think it don't almost has been there. I think on the Austrian front, I'm very happy to, to report that 
Uh, there are two teams, Lusk and South. Salzburg, that are doing financially relatively well. And Lusk even said that all their stuff, you're working for the Red Cross now. We're paying your full salaries and you're working for the Red Cross now. That's, I think, a great thing to do. Uh, in Germany, you know, uh, Juve said, it's even, um, the player said, we're going to waive all the salaries for the club. And I think we're going to see things like that happening now. A little bit versus, I think, Canal Plus in France said, yeah, we're not going to pay you the last installment because we're not getting any product, which uh, it's very short sighted. I don't know how it is in France, the um, TV situation. But, you know, if you want to broadcast the league once it's restarting, why would you want to now upset the clubs that actually could give you the, the, the league, that could actually give you the contract? That makes very little sense to me. But maybe Canal Plus was anyway going out, so I don't know. There are many more things that I can say, but, you know, this video is getting already really, really long, and I don't want to spend that much time anymore. That those thoughts will keep popping up in another video. Let me know your solutions of how you think the leaks should end. Uh, try to take, you know, in Austria for me it's easy to stop it because I, of course, my team will profit. But um, with everything that I'm saying, that I said here, I really try to take my personal preference out of it and look for it from kind of a neutral point of view because that's the one thing that they need, need, need to find to kind of make the common sense choice. This is for me what I'm looking at and I know this is not what's going to happen because if the clubs are arguing amongst each other, this is where you need a commissioner. Every league will need one commissioner who makes the decision, done. That is what I would say. Anyway, I'm curious what you think, how the leagues could finish. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Tomorrow something completely different, something completely new. Subscriber suggestion, just saying. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.